No, sir. Test, test. Dengar, sir. Alright. Okay, so uh, make sure everyone turn on the cameras. Eh? Okay, Assalamualaikum and good evening. Uh, repeat balik lah, cakap tadi. Uh, to make sure that our PNP is uh, conducted accordingly, I need to make sure that everyone to turn on the cameras. And... Uh, are in front of their PCs rather than uh, doing something else. Okay, uh, before I start, I would like to make sure Mr. Hold on, yeah, where is it? Mr. Ashraf, Mr. Ashraf Hafiz, Mr. Saiful Akmal and Ahmad Lukman Hafiz. I want you guys, if possible, to stay after the uh, lab session because I have a few questions to ask. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, if they are not in the class right now, make sure to tell them to stay if they join a little bit later. Make sure they uh, know that I'm... Uh, want to see them after not to see lah to to have a chat with them after the class session so please stay here in google meet okay so for today uh, i'll start eh? so for today i'm going to we're going to look into uh hold on where's my pdf google chrome it's here all right so for today, we are going to look into lab 6. Basically, uh, we are going to learn about Excel. Not the typical Excel that uh, most of us are familiar with, but a slightly advanced uh, use of Excel that may or may not help you in your future works. Uh may not be in UITM, but at the very least, when you're working later on, uh, there's a possibility that you might be using this because uh, as per my experience, working uh, both in private settings and government industry, the government sector, I couldn't run away from Excel. Uh, uh, as an engineer, I'll have to uh, design, I have to take notes of inventory, or the any kind of design that I've produced, I need to use Excel, especially when I'm trying. Stop building a swarul. So, uh, semua pun tak dengar ke? Dengar sah. Dengar sah. Ah, then uh, Ahmad Irfan, may, maybe your volume could try to turn it up. Maybe it's your computer lah, uh, because your friends here says that they can. Or maybe it's my amp. Let me increase it. Mm, that is max. Uh. Okay. So uh, my friend, please uh, turn up your volume. Yeah? Or maybe use your headphone. Yeah? <laughs> okay, uh, so uh, based on my experience as engineers and also as a lecturer, I can't run away from Excel. Especially as an engineer, you need to keep stock of your design of uh, whatever the material that you you're going to propose to your client. So technically, Excel will be your lifelong software. I'm not sure in the future whether something else is going to uh, substitute Excel in your in our work day to day basis. But as far as I'm concerned, uh, at the current technological pace, nothing yet can beat my Microsoft Office. It can be PowerPoint. Uh, PowerPoint, it is in a way, uh, will be substituted with uh, other forms of uh, software. 
uh, maybe MOOC or maybe what you call that? Mm, uh, the software, there's, there's tons of software that can substitute uh, PowerPoint. Words, uh, while there are still, uh, there are lots of application that could substitute words, but so far, people will still use words because uh, familiarity or maybe it's just uh, conveniences. But Excel, no. So far, every uh, you can't run away from Excel because uh, even though Google has their own spreadsheet, even though uh, Apple or maybe Mac have their own, uh, but Excel, most people will have to use it regardless where you are, what industry you are in, or uh, what stage is in your life, chances are Excel will still be reigning supreme uh, in more years to come. So therefore, it's orang kata, uh, worthwhile lah for you to invest some knowledge. And uh, in these courses, we are going to look into some of the intermediate level of using Excel to ease our data sorting life. Okay. So the objective here is uh, to learn on the basic spreadsheet concepts, to use lookup function and combo boxes, uh, to apply conditional formatting, and also to do some programming, if programming. And then uh, what you're going to need is just your laptop or your computer with Microsoft Excel. Preferably, please use uh, what you call that, uh, original or license Excel software, but I understand students memang budget limited. Uh, but if I'm not mistaken, UITM does offer free Office 365 version of Excel, but I'm not sure whether that version is able to perform all the requirements needed here. Lah. But that's it. Uh, if uh, typical uh, student pakai correct version to uh, I understand lah. But uh, as a as a higher institution punya staff or apa? Syarah, basically, I have to advise to you to if you can please use the licensed version. Okay, so uh, the introduction. I I hope you guys read it yourself uh, for your pre lab. Make sure to do this on your own because pre lab we are lab session is mostly on doing the lab itself, not for me to brief to you on what is the uh, the theoretical part, especially introduction side of it because it's more on uh, the historical value of it. But uh, everything else is being printed here almost direct to the point now, uh, so you can read it on yourself. Okay, so for I think. The one that I need to focus more or just brief is on this part onwards, which is uh, what is cell, what is worksheet, and what is workbook. So cell is this uh, this um, this single block here, this rectangular block that you have selected. Okay, that is cell. Worksheet is the whole uh, what you call that column and rows in the uh, under sheet one here. Uh, sheet one two basically is the worksheet now. And workbook is the file name, which is in this case I put here book. I I haven't saved this. Uh, what you call this worksheet? So the file book one dot excel is actually the book one dash excel is the workbook. Eh? Basically, the basically the file itself is the workbook. Okay, so in Microsoft Excel, you should be able to see all these uh, ribbons, all these uh, tabs, all these uh, cell and arrangement. So what it, what it's called is uh, this is the cell, this is the column, sorry, this is the column, and this is the row, each row one one two I don't know affinity, and this is the ribbon. The whole section that has uh, under home, insert, and page layout, everything here is called a ribbon. And this is an address uh, box where if you select a certain cell, it will display the address of the cells. So like this, for example, B18. We always start with the column first. E or H or J10, uh, for example, this one. We always start with the column first. And then uh, this is the worksheet tab where you'll see the, uh, there's my face there. Let me move my face. It's okay. 
So uh, let me extend this for a bit. Hold on here. I hope you can see the sheet there. So uh, sheet one, sheet two, sheet three is the worksheet tab. And then uh, status is underneath the most bottom part of the uh, Excel. Basically, if you have an error, you should be able to see it here or somewhere in the error vicinity. So that's basically what you could see on your Excel that is of importance to you today. And then uh, active cell is the one that you have selected, the cell that you are currently selected. That is the active cell, column, rows, and basically is the one that I've just mentioned. Okay, so, and then we look into basic functions. I think most of you have used sum and most probably have used average, but there are tons of other, uh, actually, uh, I think almost a few hundreds uh, uh, basic function uh, functions existed in Excel that you may or may not use. But for today, uh, you can see there's 10 of those and we'll be using one, uh, sorry, maybe if I'm not mistaken, only number eight, which is lookup and uh, number nine, number nine, if we look up and if for today. But there are tons of, and how to use it is just type in equals time, then tap, let's say, uh, because they it wants hour, minute and second. So you put that hour, uh, minutes 56 zero two seconds and it will display as time at 7 56 a.m because seven is uh, be, uh, seven if you put the 19 then it will put it will be displayed as 2 p.m i guess let me check let's say we put here 17 it should be five uh, so if you put that 24 hours format it will convert to 12 hours format with a PM here, but if of course, if you want to use 24 hours, you can change it. Now. So these are some of the basic functions that you may or may not use, but I think uh, most of us have uh, explored quite extensively on some count and average uh, on, and the other parts uh, will be tried, we'll explore on seven and eight, uh, sorry, eight and nine, a little bit later. So first, we are going to start with part A, which is to format text and numbers. Now, for this part, because this is considered as a very simple uh, setting, so I won't be, I've already done my parts, so I want you to do yours on your own on part A, and I'll continue after you've completed part A. So for this, I want to make sure that everyone is able to produce the same a result as figure 6.2 and also as what I did here uh, on your own this, because this is just a basic Excel function so there's no point of me elaborating much on it so I'll give you around 10 minutes and uh, I will randomly choose three of you uh, to show to me the result of what you have put there so make sure eh, you have to format you have to change the bold and aerial you have to merge and make sure it's similar copy uh, one to one with the figure 6.2 here and then make sure it you border you put a border there uh, accordingly to show similar to your similarly with your i mean this the one that i've got here so 10 minutes from now so now it's 250 so around three o'clock I'll turn on my mic again. Okay, please turn. Eh? If you have any question again, uh, you, you you can just uh, ask me. But I think you won't have any issues lah, for the part A session. So I'll wait ten minutes at three o'clock. I'll turn on my mic again.
ah, sorry okay it's three o'clock so uh have you finished getting the excel to get output like this i'll randomly pick your name eh, to show you your what you have been doing hmm okay saiful akmal are you there saiful akmal can you show to me your what you've done hmm that do Does anybody know where Saiful Akmal is? Because apparently he's been missing quite a while. And I've tried to contact him via WhatsApp and he haven't replied. So I want to make sure is he still in UATM or is he not in campus? In your item, in your item. Okay, but he didn't join the class, or did he join? Because I am not able to see him in this uh, in the list name here. Saiful Akmal. If possible, I want to see him after this. No, sir. His name is not here. Okay. Uh, hold on. Let me check your future whether he did takes his attendance Hmm, he didn't take it. Uh, let me take this. I want to see whether he did he attend the classes. Uh, B, 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 the last few times should be here. Hmm, okay, he didn't ten. Just so you guys know, uh, now everyone is cracking down on attendance, so that's why I'm a bit concerned on attendance right now. Okay, last few, two classes he did attend, but not today, and he didn't reach out to me why on the reason why he didn't attend today but never mind i'll try to contact him later okay but uh for now i'll just pick somebody else and i'll put cypher Akmal under flag eh? okay uh nurin iza can you show to me your screen what you've done uh yeah. yes sir okay Okay, uh, can you, oh, you already done almost, mm, okay, good, almost to the part of part C, part D, okay, good, but uh, I want to make sure that you are, I guess, semua okay, that's good, mm. okay, never mind, uh, Nurin Iza, it's good that you've uh, quite a hit. Uh, never mind, let me choose another person, uh, Nazif Zaini. Can you share your screen? Boleh sir. Hmm. Ya, 
Dia nampak dah. Ah ya. Yeah. Okay, but you haven't complete complete everything right. Uh, okay, okay. There are a few things here. Okay, where you are right now? What what stage are you are right now? Uh, number, I think. Wait. Okay. I just follow the figure six point two. Okay. So you haven't set any formats, any font and whatever table semua tak buat lagi lah. Ah uh, yes. Okay. So I want to make sure that you follow this. Uh, make sure the column C you select, make sure to change it to text and column D make sure uh, column C and D make sure to change it to text because if not, you won't be able to display the phone number correctly. Because right now you as you can see oh. it's only one two three one two three right. Yes. Uh, you, you For our phone number, it should have zero at the front. So in order for you to put that zero, we have to put the format as uh, text. So where I must set the text? Select C and D. Select C and D. The uh, column. Select yes. it. Uh, just select the whole thing. Okay. No, no, not the, not the, no, the whole column. C, D. C, D, J. Hmm. Ah, one. One, okay, and then right click. Okay. Right click. Okay. Format cell. Format. Ah. Okay, change that uh, to uh, number. The can you select number? Tap the number. number. Tap. Ah, and then make sure it's text. Yes. Okay. Okay, then you have to re-enter zero at the phone number there, and then only then you'll be able to see zero at the front. All right. Ah, okay. Okay. Ah, uh, the other parts pun follow lah. All the percentage you must uh, change the percentage format. Same thing goes for the other ni lah. Okay. Okay. Okay, thank you. Uh, the other person I would like to see Green. is Mirul Eman. Mirul Eman, did I pronounce that correctly? Mirul? Is it Amirul Eman? Because uh, I'm looking at your Google class. Uh, yeah, yes, sir. Ah, can you just share with me what you've done? Uh, seeing yes, sir. Share the screen. I'm not seeing it yet. Hey, no. Hmm. I'm yeah. able. Ah, yeah. Okay, now I'm seeing it. Okay. Yeah. Ah, it's okay. Take your time. Nampak sah? No, not yet. Ah, okay, nampak. Okay, the same thing okay. goes with you. Uh, apparently you ha you still haven't set the format, right? Yep. Hmm. That's. Ah, text. Okay. Uh, okay. All right. So continue with the percentage and also the other parts. Uh, make sure it's numbers, percentage, and uh, text accordingly. Okay. Thank you.
Hero. Okay, sir. Okay, that's it. I'm going to continue uh, with the rest of part A, which is to uh, include test A and test B total marks, which is here. Uh, 90 and 70. Now, the, the problem here is that since we have set this as text, this section here shouldn't be nila because now it's registered as the numbers as text. So if you want to calculate using this total mark, it's not going to be good. Lah. It's not going to achieve our target. So what we need to do is to change it to convert to number. And this one is also convert to number. So I think you forget to share screen. Oh, share screen. Sorry, sorry. Easy. Ish. Okay. So as you can see, um, do you? Kenapa saya still nampak uh, Amirul Aiman ke saya yang Amirul Aiman, can you stop sharing? Oh no, uh, saya terpin nak awak punya ni pula Okay Okay, uh, as you can see uh, Okay, uh, as you can see, uh, this is what I meant Previously, it looks like this Because there's an arrow here so you need to change this because if you look at it, it's currently numbers. The number is stored as text, stored as text. So if you want to use it here to calculate, uh, it's either not going to be accurate or there's an issue you found later on. So you need to change this convert to number. The same goes seven for 70, test B, convert to number. So then now you can calculate uh, accordingly. Eh? So I need to bring this over there. Hold on, yeah. Okay, let me open my PDF again. Okay, so now they want me to color this to green. So, um, macam biasa lah, green nak color ni, everyone pun tahu. Just use uh, the green, any kind of green that you have here. And also this side here needs to be in pitch, I guess. And then make sure it is in borders. Not because it's important for our calculation, it's more pleasing to the eyes. Okay, so we've done part A. So hopefully everyone has, are able to be here. I know that some of you might be a little bit behind, but bear with me, I'll give you some time to do it later. But make sure you are already here. So before I proceed to part B, I'll wait around five minutes, I guess, for your friends to uh, to be at the same page because I understand some of you has already Januri Nizah tadi, dah sampai ke percentage dah pun, part C, part B tadi. So it's okay. Uh, for those who are faster than what I'm trying to share, you can proceed. But for um, I need to wait for the... I mean, we are as strong as our weakest link. So I need to make sure that our weakest link is up to date with us. So saya kena tunggu lah. So for those yang nak laju, boleh laju. But uh, I'll give five minutes for the rest of the class to catch up. In case they have any issues, they can follow my lead lah. Okay, five minutes eh. So now 3.15, around 3.20, I'll turn on my mic and continue with part B. If you have any questions, please uh, say so and I'll turn on my mic again. So I have a question. Yes, please. You want to share something? Yeah, yeah, I want to share. Uh, all right. Uh, okay. So can uh, how to make this test A right in the middle, like 
uh, you have to okay select that and then merge. Uh, I think it's the under ABC. Can you see the increasing ABC in alignment? Uh, sorry, uh, wrap text in alignment. That's alignment. merge and center. Ah, nah, that one. The right. oh, merge and center. Ah, oh, merge. merge and center. Ah, just click on it and then make makes it. Can you click on it? Ah, merge and center. Does it work? Oh, merge and center. Click on it. What the eddy? What is it? Ah, oh, there you go. Ah, uh, your computer is a bit slow, I guess. Uh, I select it wrong. Ah, uh, okay. Okay, continue. Okay, so it's apparent. Uh, I was thinking before we start our class, actually in this lab, I was expecting most of us, uh, especially your generation, are quite fluent with Excel, but apparently some of you haven't. So I'm not judging. Uh, it's good that we practice here. So I'll be able to uh, pace out our lab progress accordingly. So it's good that I know this. But anyway, uh, five minutes, around 3.20, I'll turn on back my mic. But if you have any questions, I'll, I'll be here. Okay, I hope uh, you are at least close to our progress for those who are a bit left behind. So I, to be fair, I also have to ni juga lah, uh, uh, proceed juga sebab nanti tunggu lama sangat pula. And uh, 
just so you know, eh, this is actually, you don't have to type this every single time. You can just pull this down. Let's say, for example, uh, I wrote there one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three. The quickest way for you to do this is just drag this down. You have to click the arrow, what do you call that? The, um, where is it? Yeah, fill handle. Ah, yeah, fill handle. The fill handle is actually the the small dot here. If you drag it down, it will auto fill five, four, four five, six, seven, eight, nine. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So you don't have to type every single words there, every single numbers there. Just drag it down, and it will auto fill because same last many kasi ni mudah kan. Okay, once you have done that, make sure to put in the numbers in raw mark 34, 56, 76, 54, 34, 67, and 89 for test B, 43, 22, 34, 67, 34, 65. 34, 56. Notice, eh, I am, now it's 70. But if I'm not mistaken, in part C, I think, suddenly it will be changed to 78, I guess, in part D. Uh, yeah, part D, suddenly it's 78. But never mind, we'll just follow it, follow the 70 first. Okay, that's it. Uh, please save so that uh, you can include this in your lab sheet this section here, part A, for part A. Okay, so you need to prove this, so you need to screen capture this and then paste it on your lab sheet as a proof. And then now we'll look into absolute referencing for to calculate our percentage. So in order for us to do this, you need to first make sure this is in percentage format. So I've already set this actually in percentage format. So if you look here, format cells is already in percentage and make sure the decimal please is zero, eh? not two. So uh, to start typing in the formula, you need to click equal, uh, tap equal button and then the adjacent cell that displays the value of the raw mark for test A, which is D8, divide over dollar sign uh test a full mark hey right. sorry divide over i think you can't accept that so dollar sign uh test a full mark is b17 so dollar sign b dollar sign 17. now it's at 38 percent to double check let's say okay let me share the screen windows capture okay uh, let me open this calculator and change this to hold on here. Where's the calculator? Hold on, let me Windows capture. This is Excel, Lab 3, calculator. Okay, to confirm that the data has been correctly measured. Uh, sorry, here. So 34 divide over the full mark for test A is 90. So 34 divide over 90, you should get 37, 0 0.37 multiply it with 100 because it's percentage. So now you get 38%, which is correct. Lah. So this formula is correct. And the way forward to make it easy for you, click on the fill, I forgot what's the name is again, uh, fill handle. Yeah, the small dot next to the cell, you can just drop it down like this. See, so automatic. The same goes for test B. Uh, you have to make sure, okay, before I, I put there, I need to elaborate. So what does this do is actually, it takes the value of the adjacent cell for Nabil, let's say his mark is 34. And then it divides over the full mark of the test, which is at 90. And you got the percentage of uh, test A for Nabil. And for uh, if you don't put dollar sign B, dollar sign 17, or what we call as absolute 
uh, absolute referencing in the lab manual. What if you don't do that? Let's say okay, I delete this and I change this from dollar sign B17. I change it to P17 only. So yeah, this is correct. But if you drop it down, you won't be able to calculate because now it filled up the 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 the, the, DV, the reference revision here. P18 now because you put this down, so it moves also down to the next cell on the bottom part. So instead of B17 that you have defined as the full mark is 90, now it goes to the next uh, cell, which is B18, and B19, B20, B21, and so on and so forth. Lah. And since there is no value in B18, so anything divided over undefined will be undefined. Uh, so that's why we put the, sorry, we put the dollar sign B dollar sign seventeen because we want to make sure that it's divided. The or even though we pull it down, everything will be divided with the same cell, which is the total mark for test A. So if you pull this down, it will follow the same formula lah. B seventeen dollar sign B dollar sign seventeen for the first column, uh, for the first uh, for Nabil, for Ali pun sama B. Dollar, dollar sign B, dollar sign 17. Haide pun sama. Hassan sama. Romana sama. Everything is divided over the full mark for test A. Okay, so this makes it much more easier for us to calculate. Yeah. Just pull down uh, to divide over. Because uh, all the test A actually have the same full mark value. So please do for test B. The same for test B. I'll wait. Another five minutes, so around 3.35, I'll open my mic again. But of course, if you have any questions, I'm here to wait for you, uh, to ask, to, uh, to help you. So please do so if you have any questions. But basically, that's the what is being done there. Lah. We are actually doing absolute referencing. Okay, so five minutes. And uh, if you have any questions, please ask. But if not, then I'll continue with the next, uh, the next steps. Lah.
Okay, can I proceed or do you still need some time? No. Since no feedback, I guess I'll just proceed eh, with part C. So make sure everyone got the same output like I did here and put it under your lab sheet result, which means you have to snapshot this, eh, the whole document this, and then uh, paste it on the lab sheet report. Okay, so for the next part, which is nested if, Basically, you want to fill grade here with either distinction, merit, pass or fail based on rules that you'll be setting here lah, on the range that you set there. So to, in order for you to do that, you have to declare the grade first. So in order for us to do that, we have to define these grade boundaries and since that sheet wants us to put in blue so i'll just put it in blue here and then uh, i'll declare distinction merit pass as 80 percent oh no first i need to make sure this format is in percentage because if not then i have to do uh, because right now it's in text we don't want that we want in percentage Okay, so now I'll just put here 80% according to the definition there, 80 and then 60. As you can see, it's automatically put there the percentage. So I don't have to key in manually the percentage. And pass is 50. And the same goes over here, 80 for test B, 60 and then 50. So to make it more pleasing to the eyes, I'll just change the colors to the appropriate color. Okay, and then make sure it is everything is being ordered. So it looks more uh, formal. Okay, once you've done that, now you use the function if or nested if since we want to declare that anything above 80 percent for test a is called distinction anything above 60 percent below 80 percent is called merit anything above 50 percent or equal to 50 percent but less than 60 percent will be called pass any other rules any other values not listed here will be considered as fail so of course you can put here fail but um, for me uh, if it's not under here then this is much more efficient so in order for us to do that you need uh, to complete these tasks you need to type in this uh, code here in the first set which is in nabil punya grade so to do that you have to start with equals high well, capital letter if e8 which is uh, sorry e8 which is uh, this one percentage here compared to if it's bigger than uh, what do you call that absolute referencing b dollar sign 19 which is distinction punya uh, cell here then it will be called as distinction however it needs to pass this parameter first which is if e8 uh, higher than uh, what do you call that delta b eh, sorry dollar sign b dollar sign 20 which is the uh, what do you call that? Uh, the merit punya benchmark, which if it doesn't, if it falls under it, it will call be called as merit. And then, uh, if it does not pass, it needs to be compared with uh, again dollar sign B 
but this time around dollar sign 21 because you need to make sure it's passed at 50 percent if it does pass it will be called as pass but if it does not I think uh, anything other than all the uh, all the if conditions set there will be called as fail so to top some more bracket knee and uh, I think I've put something wrong here where is it uh, distinction if field pass ticker 21 be eight order if married okay, let me check what I have put wrong there there's a problem with this formula when the first character is equal or minus excel think it's a formula you type one plus one celsius to get around this type of equals uh, equals oh it's a little bit common it's a little bit bracket so this should be eh? sorry need to talk need to talk did I did that wrong it should show the first one fail betul dah Merit distinction, pass, fail, merit distinction. Okay, so I did this right, but I guess there's some typo there. So it has corrected my, uh, there's it should be three. So it has corrected my formula that I've keyed in. I think I've put there a wrong bracket and I deleted one of the bracket here. So everything is correct now. So the same goes for test B. You need to make sure you type the same formula but you have to change accordingly lah. so for test b you need to compare with test b punya uh, benchmark grade boundaries and then you have to make sure that it is reflected compared with the percentage of test b punya percentage so the faster way for us to do that is to control paste the formula but change the parameter Instead of E8, we changed it to H8. It's because we are comparing the percentage here, not this one. E8 is for test A. We are using test B, so you need to change it to H8. Same goes for other E8. And this time around, you need to make sure to change this. Instead of B19, you have to change it to C19. Because now for test B, the benchmark will be at here which is C19. So the same goes here. Instead of B, you need to change to C, and this one is also C. So now, the next step is just to drag down the header. Now you'll get merit, fail, fail, distinction, distinction, merit, fail, and merit. Okay, try to do it on your own. I'll wait for you uh, for five minutes, and if you have any question, I'll turn on back the mic and uh, help you from there. Okay, try to do it here.
Yes. I uh, have a question for for part A and no, part C. Uh -huh. The percentage for test A in orange color is 61, 31, 49. But in part D, they are changed. Uh, because the as you, uh, because if you look at part D, the the total marks here suddenly changed to 78. Uh, they to, so they are aware why it's changed. If you if you if you tap try to look. If I change this seventy instead of seventy, I put it there seventy eight. Now it's changed. So they sengaja letak situ so they're kurang aware. So but for now, so, maintain lose. So you need to change to seventy or maintain the seventy. Uh, up to you because uh the ultimate the ultimate thing that I'm going to measure is actually whether you understand or not. So if you want to maintain 70 and uh, mm -hmm. proof can why it's, uh, the result is different than is being shown in the lab manual, I understand. I believe I'm because you're still using 70. Mm -hmm. Okay, sir. All right.
Okay. Can we continue? Uh, everyone has everyone got the same output as what I'm showing to you right now? Or is there anyone has any issues with your output? No. Okay, so if no, then I'll continue. Make sure to snap this output and include in your lab sheet. Eh? Okay, next we looked into conditional formatting. So if it's seven students like this, it's much more easier for us to change it to according I mean, manually. Lah. But imagine if you're an engineer, you want to take the stock warehouse uh, auditing and it has few hundreds thousands data here i believe you don't you won't want to click every single line here and then change the color according to the tagging right so what to help you with that for example in this case you can do the conditional formatting here to help you dis uh, differentiate between each cases for example fail merit distinction and pass you can assign a different color code. So to do that, you select all of this, uh, the fail uh, for test A, and then, uh, sorry, conditional, uh, sorry, uh, conditional formatting, click on conditional formatting, just at the top of the uh, ribbon there, in the home ribbon, top there, you can see conditional formatting, highlight cells rules, and then put there, uh, and then select equal to. So now you make sure your uh, your spelling, your typing is the same as the one that you have mentioned. So distinction. Alamak. Google ni the OBS tak capture. So give me a second yeah. Go to. Oh sorry. This one is Excel. This one. Okay. Change it to equal to. Huh? So as you can see there, equal to. If I select this. Once I make, I've make sure that the spelling is the same as the one in the table. So you, it automatically select whichever is distinction uh, cells uh, that it has found here. So in order for you to change, I mean, you can use any of the option available here, but for the sake of following the lab format, uh, lab manual, we'll use custom format. And then change the color according to the shades here. Lah. So normally, if you got distinction, people will give you green colored, green colored tab. So as you can see now, its distinction has been marked, highlighted with a green colored. Now let's say you want to continue with merit and pass. So again, the same steps, conditional formatting, highlight cell rules equal to, and now put the merit. So it's automatically search for merit and they found out that there are two there in the table. So for merit, I'll use the different shades of green, which is this one. Then click OK. Then continue with pass. So again, the same steps. Now it's pass, which is only one. We'll, it only found one there. So I'll use these shades of green. OK. now. Pass is uh, the other shades of green. Click OK. Now, if you want to continue for fail, now again the same steps. Now we type in fail, then change the for uh, normally fail people will use red. Uh. So I'll use red. Click OK. So if you want to check whether uh, all the let's say you want to change the color for merit. You want to use a darker shades of green. So what you can do, you again select this, go to conditional formatting, and then manage rules. So let's say you want to change merit to darker shades of green. So double click on the color, and then click format. Maybe, okay, use this one. Click OK, then OK, and then apply, then OK. Now, as you can see, now it's more proper, lah. distinction dark. Uh, a bit the darker screen merit slightly darker and pass will be lighter shades of uh, the lightest shade of green and fail is fail okay 
So uh, try to do it on yourself and continue with for pass, uh, test B punya sites. Uh, the same tagging uh, with the same shades of colors so that you don't confuse yourself. So again, I'll give you five more minutes uh, to do both, both, uh, both test A and test B. Okay. Okay, I hope everyone can get the same result 
as what I'm getting right now. Of course, if you refer to the lab manual, you'll see that for test B, the the what do you call that? The value is different because, like I've mentioned to your friend just a few minutes back, they use they suddenly changed to seventy eight. So let's say if I changed it to seventy eight. Now it's uh, for test B, eh? focus on test B. Now it's merit, fail, 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 distinction, fail, and merit. So if I change this to 78, you can see there's one past here and it follows accordingly to the lab manual. So as you can see, if any, if let's say like, in the future, uh, for if you're, if you're an engineer or lecturer, you found out there's a, some correction that you need to do. Now you don't have to recalculate every single cell for each uh, uh, person data that you, or item that you've key in. You can just change the overall parameters and it's all, it will automatically do it along with the proper tagging. So let's say for this, I've changed, I, let's say I incorrectly put 78, I put back 70. Now it follows according to the original calculation. Nah? That's it. Um, have you finished with part C, background to red, manage the rules? Ah, that's it. Lah. Okay, so uh, additionally, let's say now test B, they want it to change to 40%. So right now, because you're seeing fail quite, I mean, banyak ramai orang fail ni, so they nak tolong lah. Rather than have three person fail, so uh, for test B, the lecturer decided that, okay, kita turunkan lah. Uh, the passing marks to instead of 50%, now we turn it down to 40%. So we should expect anything above 40 will be passed. So now it's fail three fail with one at 49, Faisal at 59%. So we reduce the passing marks to 40. He should pass. So if I press enter, and now he passed. So we only have two percent fail in this test P. Okay, so as you can see. It's very convenient for you as a lecturer or maybe in the future as an engineer, if you found out that there's an error in data key in, you can just change it and it will, uh, the, the, main, the main benchmark, and then you can, it will auto, uh, automatically adjust the values and the tagging. It's very convenient eh, if you know how to use Excel. I myself, I'm using Excel for my own budgeting and also my investment tracking. So uh, yeah, you can't run away from Excel. Uh. Okay, so uh, you need to snap this and put into your lab sheet for the 40%, uh, I guess. Uh, change it to 40%, make sure you record everything here and put it into your lab sheet, the result. Okay, and then, okay, now we look into creating some sort of like a menu because uh, as a user, if possible, you don't want to look at every single line in the table. Of course, this is now easy for us to see, but we can make it much more easier by creating a menu for us to get the details. If you just want to see the details, don't want to see the calculation, you can do it quite simply using Excel. And for this, first we have to click on sheet two. Have I missed something? I don't think so. All right. So create sheet two and put in the value like this. So I'll continue with this one. And it is under C. So create book. And since it is, what do you call that? Bold, I'll follow the same bold and then number four b4 will have name test a test b and then telephone i like to make it more pleasing to the eyes so i'll arrange it accordingly that's it so that is at the end of part d uh, you don't have to put this one uh, in your lab sheet. Except, uh, you just have to put the previous progress into your lab sheet. But for this one, it's more on preparation or, or for part E, which is the last part, I think. Yep. Part E. Oh, no, there's part G. 
Okay, uh, so we are preparing for part E. So please do so. This one, I think, uh, I'll just continue with part. I'm uh, waiting for five minutes uh, because just in case some of you still haven't uh, arrived at the same page. So uh, at least you can catch up. So I'll continue at 4.10. Now it's 4.05 on my watch. So I'll wait five more minutes for the others to catch up. Okay, anyone has any problem? Don't be afraid to voice out. Don't be shy, not afraid. Selalu orang Melayu ni should be shy, bukan afraid. If there are none, then I'll continue with control combo box. So in order for you to do this, you need to enable the developer mode. So in, uh, if you don't have it, what you could do is click on File, Options, Customize Ribbon, 
and make sure you tick developer mode if you don't see it here on the customize the ribbon on the right side of the of your uh, excel option eh? what you can do is actually drop down this menu and click all tabs and you should be able to see it here and then let's say for example uh, you click here and then add then you'll be able to take it from then on okay so for me i haven't enabled it yet so i'll just tick here developer and then click ok now i'm able to see it uh, at the top ribbon here under developer okay Okay, so this step is more on including the developer. Okay, so for this section then, <clears throat> what you need to do is to uh, go to the developer tab, click insert, drop it down, and choose the one that mentioned combo box form control. The second column, uh, the second icon from top, from the left. So if you click this, you can just uh, define like this for any any range lah. but since we are going to put it here under grid book you might as well just put it directly over here and resize it accordingly like this okay so once you've done that you need to define what uh, data is going to be displayed here so in order for you to do that you have to right click on the macros uh, the, for the control command control combo or whatever the name is the combo box and then click format control and for the input range you need to refer to this area which is the name and then you can either press enter or you can either press this icon over here can you see it i don't think you can't I don't think you can, so I need to. Okay, you got your base. Hold on, yeah. Format object. Ah. Okay, let me cancel. Okay, so let's say uh, I repeat back what I've just showed. Uh, said. So click format control for the combo box, and then under control, click this uh, icon here on the right side of the input range, and then click sheet one and then select the whole table that contains the name of the uh, the data that you want to show lah. so for this example from b8 to b14 okay once you've done that you have selected that then you can either press enter or press this icon on the right side then you should be able to see the data over here and the cell link you want to see uh, whether or uh, what is basically to see whether uh, the arrangement, uh, sorry, the location of the now the data is. So what you can do is you can, uh, as per include in, mention here, you have to mention E4, absolute E4, because you want to only show it at E4. You don't want to show it at E5, E6, E7, E8. So put the E4 dollar sign 4 dollar sign e dollar sign 4 to make make sure it's uh, always pop up at e4 so now if you please okay press okay what's the problem here click okay sheet 1 hold on sheet 1 b a to b4 oh no i've accidentally clicked sheet 2 again so to delete that then please okay Okay, now if I want to make sure that it's working or not, I can just drop this down and remember to look at E4 because we've defined E4 as the output. So let's say we choose Nabil. Uh, Nabil should be number one. So we look at Romana. Romana is number five. So let's change to Romana. So you could see number five E4 because we declared uh, C, uh, sorry, the reference uh, e4 to refer to the cell link which is the what do you call that adjacent cell indicated uh nabil ni, or romana ni. one two three four five six seven so let's say uh, we're going to the last one which is rana it should show seven 
So this is basically the data uh, of the arrangement of the names being put here. So it's easy for you to see uh, the entry the, the entry point of the data being inserted. So if you want to change anything, you can just click the name that you want to change. Let's say hi day is under number three. So look at number three. Okay, hi day. Okay, betul. So number phone salah. So betul kan? Senang lah. Eh? Okay, and then after you've done that, now we want to look at uh, oh, part G. Okay, so I'll leave this section first to make sure that everyone is on the same page. So uh, now it's 4.15 on my watch. At 4.20, I'll turn on my mic and continue. Again, I'm waiting actually if you have any questions. So if you have, if you do have questions, please voice out and I'll try to help you. Okay, I'll turn on my mic again at 4.20. Uh, sorry, by the way, you have to put this under your lap sheet eh? as a proof for part C.
Okay, I would like to continue if nobody has any issues. I would like to continue with part G. So for, uh, again, if you have any question, please do interrupt me. I'm, um, I will address you directly, but if not, then I'll continue with part G. So part G basically is you're going to use the VLOOKUP format to fill up test A, test B, and telephone once you have selected the person. So in order for you to do that, you need to key in the value here. So you can type in, start with test A, VLOOKUP. Uh, okay, for example, like the one that I just did, I type here VL and it suggested the VLOOKUP. So instead of ty uh, type the whole thing, I could just press tab and it will automatically fill the formula along with the bracket. And now we need to uh, refer to E4 because now it's uh, for high day is uh, number three. So they need to follow it. So type the E4 and then uh, sheet one, uh, what do you call that? False trophy, standard sort one. A8 to I14 and then six. So what does this do is actually, okay, let me press enter first. So what this formula is actually, uh, it asks you to compare E4, now value, which is three. So compare with sheet one, three, which is uh, the number three here. Compare with the whole table from uh, sheet one A8 to I4. So A8 is here, this is A8 to I4. From this A8 to I4, which is, where is I4, I4, I14, ah, sorry. Uh, A8 to I14, so this is 14 and this is I. So the whole table here will be referred to using the number shown in uh, E4, which is three. Then they are going to it this morning. And then if you see there, it's going to refer to uh, column number six. So column number six here is one, two, three, four, five, six. So this is column number six. So you, test A will refer to grade test A and test B will refer to grade test B. Lah, as shown here, number nine, six, seven, eight, nine. So the same formula will be used here for B. And this will change, you need to change this to nine. Okay, the same goes for telephone. Uh, now it's column number three, because telephone is at column three A, B, C, ni, satu, dua, tiga. Press enter. Okay, so I'll turn Hazan, saya senyap sekejap. And you try to uh, follow up here lah, sampai sini ya. Eh.
Okay, we continue. Hopefully, everyone are able to get the same output here. So, sir, yeah. Saya tak dapat, sir. Okay, please share Jap. your screen. Jap. Jap. N A, sir. Okay, uh, let me see the formula. E4, sheet 1, A8, A14. Okay, what's the last number? Eh? Tak, saya tak nampak clear sangat tu. 6. 6. Okay, can you uh, right click on test A punya format tu? Because macam text je tu. General. General, betul dah. Okay, uh, Neil, can you click balik yang test A punya tu? Uh, saya nampak ada error tu. Ha. Tengok. Value not available error. Okay, never mind. Uh, tengok balik formula dia. Look up. Uh, can you make it bigger because tak nampak clear sangat. Saya copy paste daripada ni je. Uh, okay, saya uh, tahu copy paste but can I, no, yep. yang Excel tu because kadang-kadang dia -kadang copy tu instead of I, dia jadi L, jadi nombor satu so I want to make sure expand and then zoom in kenapa tak boleh zoom komputer buat lambat kot tak. Oh, no, 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 you have to escape dulu oh. ah, ah, now zoom in ok, select V look up E4 sheet 1 E4 I14 6 betul dah. Uh, v look up. I'm not seeing any issues with the format. Sheet 1. Oh, okay. Tengok sheet 1. I think I understand why because E8 betul, I14 eh betul dah. Hmm. You're using the same ni. Sama je tu dia. Ha, dia punya ABC dia tu. Hmm. Uh, other than that, can you type manually? V lookup tu sebab saya takut waktu awak copy paste tu dia ni. Ha, type balik. Uh, v lookup. Tengok. Yeah. Enter. Hmm. Why? Hmm. Hold on. We look up. Tengok sheet one awak. Betul. Ke sebab jap. Tak salah tu. That one should be numbers kan? Oh. Sekejap. Hmm. Number. Dah. Uh, no, no. Uh, kan ada error tu. Ah, uh, You have to uh, store as number. No, the, the second one. Convert to number. Ah, uh, Continue. Oh. Ah, uh, So, because 1, 2, 3, 32 is store as text, so tak boleh compare. Okay. Oh. Thank you, sir. All right. Jump. Any Anybody else has any issues with the uh, combo? 
combo box eh combo box apa nama tu v look up sorry no eh so if there's none i guess we can continue so this time around we just want to make it more uh, pleasing to the eyes so that uh, it looks more official so as you can see they want us to change the color to pitch and then insert a picture so in order for you to do that select any cell then press ctrl a home and then uh, use the same lah, pitch apa, it's up to you uh, typically for your item they akan guna pitch orange macam ni lah so saya guna benda yang sama and if you want to put picture or and, and the one that it mentioned if you want to change the value of e4 to be invisible because you only want it to compare to use the number here to compare with the table sheet one since you're already able to see this so you might want to hide this so just use the same color so now it's hidden now if you want to insert a picture you get a picture of your item or whatever picture that you have i'm not sure what picture i have uh, okay i have this one so i'll just put here whatever picture that i have uh. so of course for your lab report make sure to put in uh UITM, yang something yang proper lah saya ni sebab saya tak download uitm punya logo tu so saya just put it this picture lah so that will be included in your lab sheet so for me, I put here my custom picture. So for you, up to you. But taruh gambar senonoh sikit. Tak nak lah gambar macam ni. Okay, that's it. Uh, we have fulfilled our lab 6 today. But for the discussion, you need to find the minimum, maximum and average value for test 1 and test 2 using... Hold on here. Jauh pula tu ni. Ha ni. You need to find max, minimum and also average using command Excel basic function here. So you have to prove it in your lab sheet. Put there the value. Uh, letaklah sheet 3 ke ataupun kat sini pun boleh sheet 4 apa sheet 2 ni. To find out the panjang. Hold on here. to find out the value for test 1 and test 2 so you need to put here test 1 uh, let's say uh, test A, test B what's, what is the maximum, what is the minimum maximum, minimum and then average if you want to make it easier lah tak payahlah nak buat sheet 2 you can also put it here ok, any question before I end the session no sir all right, okay. Uh, actually, this lab is quite easy, except that, uh, of course, uh, for those who aren't very familiar with uh, Excel, they may, might need to take some time, but I hope I have accommodated enough time for them to follow us. In any case, if you have any questions, again, please contact me. I'll try to uh, address your concern almost immediately lah, if I don't have any other works at that particular moment. So other than that, I, we have achieved our objective for lab six. Again, you need to provide the discussion here and then uh, submit your lab report a week from now. Okay, so uh, if there are no questions, we'll end the session with Tasbih Kifara and Surah Walas. Okay, thank you all. Uh, sorry, I need to see, I forgot. I need to see Mr. Ahmad Lukman and also, siapa tadi saya? Ashraf. Uh, Ashraf. And Saiful Akmal, kalau dia ada. All right, sir. Thank you, sir. Assalamualaikum. Okay, Assalamualaikum. Thank, thank you, sir. 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 Okay. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Okay.
Rumah Hafiz and Saifu Akmal is not there sir Rumah Hafiz and Saifu Akmal tak ada? Ah yes I don't know where they go Hmm, masalah. Tak apalah. Uh, thank you uh, for attending the class and be seeing you next week. Thank you. Oh, okay, sir. Okay, sir. Sir, can I know what about? Uh, basically, it's regarding their carry marks. Lah. They haven't submitted their work. So rather than I give directly zero to them, I would like to get some clarification from them. Oh, include me, sir? Hey, ah, yeah, I should have a face. You need to be here. Ah, yeah, I want to see you because I haven't seen your part A and part B lab 2. I, wait, sir. Uh, I, you have submitted, but there's no attachment. So I want to make sure that I'm not giving you zero for something that you there's if there's any issue with your submission. Lab so two answer. Double check. Lab two part A part B. Part C part B I'm able to see it. Oh, it's I I check my laptop. Uh -huh. Oh, I have submit but no attachment as well. Ah, there's no attachment, so I want to make sure that uh, issue. Oh, I think I forgot to attach the file as well because I have ah, so the part A and part B. I'm sorry about this. Okay, okay, so make sure you submit eh, because I don't want to give zero. Uh, kalau isu teknikal takutlah. Oh, okay, ah, okay. uh, submit dekat link Google, Google the same uh, the same link. Ah betul. Oh, okay, okay, thank you. Okay, thank you sir. Okay. Sorry for everything sir. It's okay.